Are you looking for the best coffee makers? In this video, we will look at some of the best coffee makers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Benavida Connoisseur 8 Cup One Touch Coffee Maker. Most of the experts mentioned the Benavida Connoisseur. One key reason is the machine's ability to brew at the proper temperature. According to Ken Nye, owner of 9th Street Espresso, few coffee makers consistently bring water to that 198 to 202 degree range, which he calls the broadly agreed upon standard. As Nye explains, the connoisseur also maintains the temp throughout the brewing process. The connoisseur also creates a very smooth brew due to its flat-bottomed basket, where the grounds go, and shower-like spout, both of which ensure consistent water distribution and extraction. The flat-bottomed basket spreads the grounds out evenly, says George Howell, owner and founder of George Howell Coffee. Connie Bloomhart, founder and publisher of Roast Magazine, points out that it is programmable, a great option for coffee lovers who want to brew at the touch of a button without sacrificing quality, she says. In my own testing of the Benavida, I'd become a total convert for this very reason, so much so that I stashed my stovetop percolator, more on that still endorsed pick below, to make permanent room for this machine on my counter. I simply measure grounds and pour water into their respective chambers the night before so that, in the morning, all I have to do is click the on button, even when making a full pot, it brews in minutes. And when I go back for my second, or third, cup a few hours later, the insulated stainless steel carafe has kept the coffee plenty warm without heating from below and making it taste burnt. This model might not be as full-featured as some of the other options on this list or on the market in general, but the experts recommend it over all others due to its approachable price point, ease of use, and most of all, its reliability. It's consistent from start to finish, Howell says. At Number 2. Mr. Coffee 12-Cup Coffee Maker Jamie McCormick, co-owner of the East Village Coffee Shop Abraco, tells us he prefers to keep things as simple as possible when it comes to coffee machines. People make a big to-do over a lot of nothing when it comes to brewing equipment, he says. He thinks a plain old Mr. Coffee is a first-rate choice for any amateur coffee roaster who wants to flatter their grounds. As an amateur coffee roaster myself, I can agree. I used the Mr. Coffee machine for a few years before switching to a stovetop percolator to save counter space, more on that below, and was never disappointed. It produced a smooth cup every time and was super simple to operate, I simply measured my ratio of ground beans to water and flipped the on switch. Since it doesn't have a high-tech mechanism for distributing the water evenly like some of the other models on this list, McCormick does offer one key tip, open the machine up while it's brewing and stir the grounds to make sure they all get hydrated. At Number 3. OXO Brew 8 Cup Coffee Maker. This model comes highly recommended by Noah McEwen, a general manager at Go Get em Tiger in Los Angeles. The real selling point for me is that it has a valve hole in the lid for the coffee to brew directly into the carafe, he says. It traps heat and aromatics better, and it's safer because the liquid doesn't splash out. Beyond that, there's an insert that allows you to brew 1 to 4 cups of coffee instead of 5 to 8, and another that allows you to brew only 1. The settings for those smaller amounts are slightly different so that it pulses out less water at a time and there's a bit more agitation when it hits the ground beans. It's almost like making a pour over but in your automatic coffee maker, McEwen says. For recipe developer and cookbook author Sama Data, having such a range is a huge plus. In the morning I'll brew a larger pot but then, in the afternoon, when I need to chill a bit on caffeine and only want a cup, I'll use that setting," she says. The maker has a pedestal you can flip up so your mug sits closer to where the coffee comes out to avoid splashing. At Number 4. Farberware Classic Series. This is the coffee maker I used at home for years and grew up with, before switching to the Benavida and I love it. Even though I use the Benavida more frequently now, I still think this is the perfect option for someone who doesn't want or have room for a dedicated machine sitting on their counter at all times. It's made entirely from stainless steel, save for a handle on one side and a little glass knob at the top, and using it is simple. You fill the main chamber with water, there are lines inside that tell you how many cups you're adding, and then scoop your coffee grounds into a filter cup, no paper required. The filter cup slides neatly on top of a thin pole inside the main chamber, followed by a perforated disc on top, and then you seal it shut with a tight-fitting lid. 
The brew time, first over medium high heat, then over a slightly lower flame, is little more than 10 minutes. Allison Carroll, founder of Wonder Valley, shares my enthusiasm for the percolator. For her, the analog process evokes a sense of nostalgia and eliminates the need for electronics in the morning, which she appreciates. It requires a bit of patience and attention to watch the color change through the sight glass, but it makes a damn fine cup of coffee, she says. The vessel is exceedingly easy to clean, whether you're handwashing or throwing the pieces in the dishwasher, and, though you have to keep your eye on it, is about as unfussy as it gets when it comes to actual coffee preparation, no standing there with a tea kettle pouring an even stream of water over grounds. Bonus, you can brew a big batch of tea in it, too. At number 5. Technivore Makamaster Coffee Brewer, 40 ounce. The Technivore Makamaster was the second most recommended coffee maker. It's pricey, but the experts who use it say that it's worth the premium if you're interested in investing in the best equipment out there. Like the Benavita Connoisseur, the Maka Master has stable temperature control and even brewing. Suyog Modi, founder of Driftaway Coffee, explains that while the brewing mechanics are similar to those used in less expensive drip coffee makers, the Maka Master is made with better parts and solid construction. I've been using it daily for the past three plus years with zero issues, he says. It's just no fuss. And honestly, it looks good on the kitchen counter. While the design is certainly appealing and the construction quality means it should last for a long time, the experts wouldn't endorse this coffee maker if it didn't also make a quality drink. I taste coffee from all types of brewers, and this one gives a consistently better cup, says Jim Munson, founder and president of Brooklyn Roasting Company. Ally Walsh, co-founder of Los Angeles's Canyon Coffee, agrees, noting how smooth the brew comes out every time. Jared Morrison, co-founder and co-CEO of Cyclass in San Francisco, is also a fan of the Technivorm, but prefers a slightly different model. His favorite has all the same attributes, but instead of dispensing your coffee into a glass carafe on top of a burner plate, it goes into a stainless steel thermal one, just like the Connoisseur. It keeps coffee plenty hot for several hours, he says, without changing the flavor or making it taste burnt. This thermal carafe model only comes in neutral colors, but the glass has a few muted shades to choose from at Food52 and some brights on the Technivorm website. At Number 6. Capresso 10 Cup Digital Coffee Maker. The reason to invest in this machine is clear from the name, it comes with a built-in burr grinder. Yes, it's on the spendier end, but grinders are quite pricey on their own, not to mention they take up additional space in your kitchen. Beyond the convenience, the Capresso drip yields the cleanest tasting cup, says Kat O'Dell, author of Day Drinking. Finally, it boasts the thermal carafe that many of the experts prefer over a hot plate. To make the item work fine below given details. Clean machine following the following directions, oh make sure the gold tone filter is inserted in the filter insert. Oh with a pointed tip push the small pin in the window down and slide the plastic cover forward oh wipe the inside clean with a dry cloth. O replace the feeder channel cover. Wipe the inside clean with a dry cloth. Wipe the inside clean with a dry cloth. Remove any remnants from the feeder channel. Insert the gold toned filter into the filter channel. Rinse filter with warm water, removing any coffee grounds. At number 7. Ninja Stainless Steel Specialty Coffee Maker. If you want a single unit coffee maker that can do it all, this ninja fits the bill. It comes recommended by strategist writer Ariel Avila, who regularly uses the classic brew method for a carafe of coffee, as well as the specialty setting, which turns out a thick coffee concentrate similar to espresso and used in the same manner for milk-based drinks like lattes and cappuccinos. The machine also has the capability of making iced coffee. Other bonuses include the attached milk frother and a kickstand that pops out of the side should you want to fill a single mug instead of a big carafe. Bring the coffee house home with the Ninja Specialty Coffee Maker. Combine super rich coffee concentrates with hot or cold frothed milk to create delicious coffee house style drinks or enjoy flavorful iced coffee that never tastes watered down. Brew anything from a single cup to a half carafe or a full carafe using your favorite grounds, no pods required. At number 8. Oxo Good Grips Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Cold brew makers are not exactly plug in electric coffee makers but they're important nonetheless, especially for any iced coffee year-round people. This one is a favorite of Dennis No, chef and co-owner of Brooklyn restaurant D&D. 
I got hooked on the smoothness and low acidity of cold brewed coffee, says no. It lets me tinker with different beans and concentrations. It also stacks for storage, which is an absolute requirement for my tiny York apartment. Michael Phillips, director of content and copy at Blue Bottle, recommends the Toddy Cold Brew System, a similarly priced model that he's been using for nearly two decades in his own home. It's a little over twice the size, 67 ounces instead of 32, but that's something he appreciates, he brews the concentrate once a week or so and is able to drink one to two cups a day from that amount before he has to start the process over. He's also partial to the paper filters, the maker includes three to start that you can replenish. While they aren't reusable like the stainless steel, fine mesh strainer that comes as part of the OXO, he says that they produce a much cleaner cup with absolutely no grit.